Hi, I'm Molly Fitzpatrick, your Boulder County Clerk and Recorder. Voting is one of the most powerful tools we have to influence local, state, and national policies, which impact our lives and our futures. Here at the Elections Division at the Boulder County Clerk and Recorder's Office, we take this responsibility very seriously. We make sure that every vote counts by securely safeguarding and handling every ballot throughout the elections process. To begin, ballots come back to our ballot processing center from a variety of drop-off locations such as voter service and polling centers, 24-hour drop boxes, and drive-by drop-off locations. All ballot boxes are tracked with our national award-winning ballot box tracking system from the moment they leave our facility until they return. This allows us to establish a clear chain of custody for all ballots, essentially knowing where a ballot is at all times and who it is with. Ballots that were voted in person are immediately ready for vote processing, as your identity was already checked at the Voter Service Center where you voted. Most voters vote their mail ballot and return it via 24-hour ballot drop box, in-person drop off, or by mail. The first step for processing of your ballot envelope after getting returned to our ballot processing center is at the ballot envelope reception station. This is where ballot boxes go once they have been checked in. The ballot boxes are opened and the envelopes are prepared in trays to be run through our envelope sorting and signature capture machine. This machine does several things. It sorts envelopes into groups of similar ballot styles. For example, all the Lafayette precincts would be grouped together. This is helpful later in the process when we audit election results. Then, this machine scans your signature and using automatic signature verification software, the same technology the banking industry uses to verify identity, either compares and verifies your signature against your voter registration record or sends a captured image of your signature to election judges who are specially trained to spot signature discrepancies. These judges capture the signature from your ballot envelope to the signature that you signed when you registered to vote. These judges have access to your entire voting record, which may contain more signature samples from you. Once the signatures are compared, if the signatures match, then the ballot envelope is accepted and the voter is assigned vote credit in the Secretary of State database. However, if your signature does not pass the verification process, you will get a letter in the mail giving you up to eight days after the election to resolve the issue to make sure your vote is still counted. Next, after vote credit is assigned to the voter, the accepted ballot envelopes are moved by bipartisan teams of election judges in secure racks up to the second floor of our ballot processing center. Once the ballot envelopes arrive, they are grouped into batches of 150. This assists us later with our critical auditing and election reconciliation steps. Next, the ballots are run through a specialized machine that allows for easy extraction of your voted ballot. This machine protects voter anonymity while ensuring no ballots are missed in the process. This is the stage where your voted ballot is separated from your identifiable external envelope, thus keeping your votes anonymous. Then, election judges flatten the ballots and visually inspect the ballots to make sure they are marked properly following the voter instructions and that the ballots are free from damage, like coffee spills. This step is critical as it helps the next process go smoothly, which is scanning the ballots. This is where ballots are put through a digital scanner and votes are captured and stored in our voting system. If a ballot isn't properly marked, we have a set of election judges that will help determine voter intent following the Secretary of State's guidelines. An example of an improperly marked ballot that can cause issues with the scanning equipment is when someone uses a check mark, an X, or something other than a black or blue pen. The bipartisan election judge team reviews the ballot and follows standard guidelines to determine voter intent. The final stage in ballot processing is tallying results. Up until late on election day, no results reports are generated from our voting system. This is a standalone computer system and is not part of any network outside of the building or connected to the internet. There you have it, a complete tour of our ballot processing center and the steps it takes to process Boulder County's ballots. We work year round preparing for elections and fine tuning our processes and testing and auditing the ballot processing equipment. I hope this tour gave you a glimpse into the final stages of the work. Thanks for being a voter and remember to return your voted ballot as soon as possible before election day.